wanted to put a video out regarding how to create a Gmail account for your child. I think it'll help out on a few guys on how to monitor, see what they're doing on their phone, stuff like that. So wanted to help out just a little bit of the basics on an Android device. So we'll start off with the child's device. Like I said, we'll be using this device here. So I'm gonna hit on the Play Store and create sign in. Like I said, you have to have a Gmail account for yourself uh in order for this to work because if you don't have one then it's you you need one basically to to create for your child's gmail so in order for you to monitor and have the application you will have to have one so just be aware on that and i think at the end it will ask you for like a credit card registration for if your child chooses to download any apps or purchase anything as well too so just be aware of that guys so um yeah, so let me show you guys how this is done. Like I said, the basics on the app. Um, like I said, you can monitor videos. You can see what apps. You can monitor what apps they're downloading. Uh, time frame to see how they're using it. So I'll show you the basics on that. Let me just fill this out real quick, like I said. So um, please check out the page though if you haven't. Just doing something basic here. Um, let me type in the password here. Give me a few seconds. So once the password is hidden, go ahead and like I said, you're creating the account for your child. So here's where to ask you for your Gmail account. So like I said, make sure to have a parent Gmail account for this. <laughs> or your Gmail account, I guess, or whatever Gmail account you're going to use to monitor your child's account. Um, since it's Gmail, you don't have to put that at gmail.com. You do have to remember your password for that, so make sure you know that as well too. So let me type that in real quick. Once you type in the password, you're going to hit go. Um, you are going to need family link on the phone that you're going to be using as the parent one. So like I said, it, and it'll give you a breakdown of what it does. But yeah, so make sure to download family link on to this other device or the device you're going to be using to associate your child's Gmail account. Sorry, I concentrated there. While that waits, I'm going to install that there. So I hit agree on here. So like I said, it's going to give you a big breakdown of the parent stuff. So make sure to read that over. I did for my child a little bit. But if it's not, it's not going to let you continue. So like I said, just make sure to kind of agree to some of this stuff. I do recommend reading it. But like I said, it's not going to let you continue unless you accept it. And make sure, like I said, that Google link is downloaded on this. And hit agree. So here's where it's going to ask you for the credit card information, like I said, so make sure to have that in handy. I'm going to pause real quick, skip this so I can show you the next page. All right, give me a second. All right. So once you created the account and put in the information that it's asked you, it's going to show you. It's going to be able to filter, I guess. All right. So like I said, you can kind of read those over if you want. I'm going to leave the basics for now, so hit next. Like I said, remember to have the family on there. So it's actually asking here. I do recommend it, of course. Um, so hit next. And let it install on this device here. Sorry, I don't like it when I wrote it like that. All right, so it's going to notify you on this one to let you know that it's been associated with it. All right, so that's going to download on there for a second. So I'm going to install it there. Right. So to show you a quick little breakdown on it. Hey. Right. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So it's the time and date that you can set the phone on, block certain apps, like I said. So if they use it during school, perfect way of doing that. Definitely locate your child so you are definitely know where they're at at all times with the Gmail account, like I said. So it's best to you create that for them as well. So get started it's gonna name the phone cool so it does give you reviews of few apps oh sorry they closed it out on accident so it does review apps so this one is done it's already been verified don't worry about that anymore so now this is where you need to worry about so this one's already been created we can skip that for now Alright, sorry. So you you are gonna require this device here, sorry. So it hasn't finished here. So it is gonna ask you to activate the profile manager on here to make sure that you are using the device. So we're gonna activate it. Alright. And just 
just make sure that everything else is accepted. And then once it's done here, you should be able to link it up. Yeah. So then hit next and then hit close. So with this one, once it's set up, it's going to let you know that it's done. So in this one, you can hand your son or daughter the device once it's done, just to verify. I'm going to show you here. All right, so it's done. This one's done. So here's where you come in or the parent comes in. So you have your different settings on here. You can choose your settings from what they want to download, uh, ages. You can filter the Chrome website where you want them to go, where you don't want them to go. So certain websites, uh, your Google Assistant, the apps, so these are the apps that would be downloaded to the phone. If you wanted to block them, you would just click on the app and then, and then you got it, you're fine. So, yeah. so you can block certain apps from there as well too. You'll know where the location's at at all times. So definitely you do want to set that up You turn it on. That way you know the device's location at all time. And like I said, th th that is the basics of the Google account for the child. The family link really links up everything on it. So yeah. show you what they're using, how much time they're doing, where the phone is at, if you need to find it.